After a much extended wait, I am pleased to finally see the energization of the 450 megawatt MVIP. It is the first time in the history of our nation that the three major power grids, those of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, are now physically connected. Mismong si Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang nanguna sa switch-on ceremony para sa energization ng 51.3 billion peso Mindanao Visayas Interconnection Project o MVIP. Ang MVIP ay binubuo ng 184 circuit kilometer high voltage direct current submarine transmission line na nagkokonekta sa power grids ng Mindanao at Visayas. Hindi natuloy noon ang proyekto dahil sa ilang mga kinakaharap na hamon at nasimulan lamang muli ang proyekto noong 2011, kasunod ng pag-aaral ng National Grid Corporation of the Philippines o NGCP bilang private transmission concessionaire. Inaasahang malaki ang may tutulong nito sa supply ng kuryente sa Visayas at Mindanao. Ayon kay NGCP CEO at President Anthony Almeda, marami pang proyekto ang kanilang tatapusin at target nila na maging moderno ang transmission system. After the NBIP, several big ticket projects will see completion in the next months in also in the next years and within the next 10 years of horizon of our transmission plan. We are at the onset on modernized uh, world-class transmission system. Nagpasalamat rin ang NGCP sa DILG at mga local government unit para sa mabilis na paglalabas ng kailangang permit sa MVIP. Umaasa naman si Pangulong Marcos na tutuparin ng NGCP ang pangako nito na tatapusin ang iba pang proyekto nito. So we look forward to the assurances in the promised completion of the 230 kilovolt. Cebu Negros Panay Backbone Project by March of this year, as well as the commitment that you have made to complete the Hermosa San Jose 500 kilovolt transmission lines next month. Ayon sa Pangulo, hindi na dapat maulit ang nangyari power outage sa Western Visayas, particular na sa Panay Island dito lamang buwan. Ayon pa kay PBBM, may iniutos rin siya sa Energy Regulatory Commission o ERC at may pinatitig ng panukala ukol sa energy security ng bansa. I have directed the ERC to complete the reset of NGCP's rate without further delay. I have also directed the Department of Energy and the ERC to look into the proposal of allowing third parties to construct transmission projects at the pace required by the country's power needs as we grow out of the pandemic economy. Tiniyak naman ni Pangulong Marcos ang suporta ng gobyerno sa NGCP upang matiyak na matatapos sa takdang oras ang mga transmission project. Nel Maribuhok, UNTV News and Rescue, Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinaalagahan.